from the Kakanda deposit in the Katanga, um, perched on a matrix of a pretty solid uh, dolomite, as you can see here. We have this lawn of cobalt and calcite crystals. Pretty large cobalt and calcites and also quite interesting, they are a little bit color zoned. You'll see almost a little bit of yellow inside them. Now this could be uh, inclusion of maybe some iron oxides or could even be, my estimation in many cases was barite inside them, but uh, let's go with iron oxides is more likely. From a display point of view, you'd have it uh, on a stand, standing flat, it would be like this. So going around like that, you could have it standing flat like this. I would put it on a turntable perch like this. Not all that much matrix, rather heavy specimen though. A little bit of a crystalline section there, I think I did capture that in my still pictures. And then of course, looking from the top down, you have this lawn of the cobalt and calcite crystals. Let me just get a little bit closer and have a better look there. That's a pretty accurate indication of the actual color. All the way from the Katanga Copper Crescent, Copper Mines of the Congo, the uh, Kakanda deposit. One can never be 100% sure, but this is some of my older material. Uh, most of it was from Kakanda.